Make it fashion, make it modern, make it interesting. Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Empire's SMP. So, these last few episodes have been great. We have been adventuring, we have been filling our empire with amazing builds and making it super cute. Like, if we just have a fly up here and just start spinning, you can see our empire is full of, like, detail and decor, super cute paths, statues, like, everything has just got a lot going on, which is nice. Everything except my house. Now the back end of my house is all fine because this is where my storage room is, but I have neglected this side of my house a lot. I put in some chandelier like hanging lights there, but other than that, there's nothing here. Like these heads are just kind of tucked under the stairs. My map is just there. It's not even like even in the wall, it's unsymmetrical. So we're gonna change that today with a HGTV decorating episode. You're welcome. Now one of the most important rooms in any house it's a good kitchen and that's what we're going to start with today. Now I want the kitchen to go in this space over here just because it's a nice sort of area when you come in. So it means we need to get rid of this. I need rid of that. I need rid of these. You all need to go. You are now last season. I do not want to see you again. For now I'm just going to shove the map here. It, it's not going to stay here but like for now it can go here. There we go. So we now have a nice blank canvas, a nice empty space, and the first thing we're going to do is the flooring. Now I want to go for the checkerboard, but I want to go for a modern checkerboard. You know, I don't want the normal stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some polished deep slate, and I've got some cobbled deep slate, which I think I can just put into stone cutter, and I can just take polished deep slate. There we go, polished deep slate. And I also want some polished diorite. Again, I'm going for a checkerboard pattern, but like, make it fashion, make it modern, make it interesting. I don't want this looking like one of the Sims floors. I'm also going to have it kind of do this little shape here just to kind of make the flow of the room cut off to the side. So it means that the middle of the room is the focus and it draws your eyes in rather than like seeming like a harsh line. And now we just do our checkerboard pattern. Like that. Super cute. Less harsh than just using concrete and just looks more modern and cute and quirky and I love it. Next thing we're going to do is some cabinets and I want to do a mix of some just spruce wood along with some barrels. And then we're also going to do cabinets above as well just for extra storage like so. I'm going to pop a stair that way and a stair that way and then the top of this we're just going to run some spruce slabs just to kind of section it off. I'm going to grab some trapdoors here to do like a little breakfast bar area and then we're going to pop a hopper here with a wall on top and then on top of that we're just going to pop ourselves some stairs and that's just meant to be a little extraction hood because our smoker is going to go right here which has actually just reminded me that I need to make a smoker I've not done that yet I also very quickly need to make myself a campfire because I'm going to need one of those and for this, all we're going to do is break this block here, pop the campfire down, and then pop the smoker on top. And there we go. We have our little smoker. On this side, I'm going to do a little decorative thing where I'm just going to do one, two, and three. And this is a very similar build as when I did the grandfather clock, except we're not putting a grandfather clock in the kitchen, because that would be weird. Instead, I'm just going to pop three sets of stairs like so, three item frames, and then three types of food. So there we go, it just looks like little like display things. So the other thing I now need is to get a cauldron. So we're gonna pop our cauldron there, pop some water in it, and there's a little sink. Now because of the height of this house, you're left with a lot of empty space up here. So rather than not utilizing it, I'm going to build up here and I'm gonna put in some floating shelves. I'm gonna pop two trapdoors there and then two trapdoors there. I'll pop a little lantern on that one to give some light up here. And in this one, I'll pop a plant pot. And just because it's one of my favorite things in a plant pot, I'm gonna pop a cactus. Okay, so the kitchen is starting to come together very well, but what we actually need is somewhere to sit. And I have an idea for that. This is definitely gonna be one of those things that I'm making more difficult than it needs to be, but that's kind of my thing. So for this, I'm gonna break this block and this block, and I'm gonna pop an armor stand down and an armor stand down, like that. 
So now all I need to do is build a little tower there with a the piston facing down, grab my block, and all we're just going to do is pop a little button on, push it down, pop another one in, push it down, break that one, and voila, we now have our floor back in with these little bits sticking out. And then all we need to do is do the same on this side. And voila, we have two little table legs. Now I know these might look kind of weird at the moment, but trust the process, trust the process. So now all we're going to do is pop down a block, pop down a piston with a oak slab and a button, push it, that'll slide that forward. Repeat the same on this side. And then just meet it in the middle and suddenly we have a cute little table. Now for chairs, I want to add a little bit of colour to this area, so I'm actually going to grab some warped wood. And all I'm going to do is pop down a slab on either side, trap doors on either side of the slabs. And on the back, we're just going to pop a door down. And there we have two chairs. Obviously we grab ourselves a flower pot for the middle, and then we're going to pop a flowering azalea bush in it, because it's super cute. Now again, we have all this empty space, and to fill it, I have another idea. I'm going to grab some bookcases, and we're just going to kind of dot them around kind of randomly to just make a little kind of floating shelf area. We'll pop a plant pot on this one, and let's pop a couple candles there, and then I'm just going to pop some trapdoors on that side. I'll grab a normal azalea bush to pop up there, and then we can just light these little candles. Now again, we have so much empty space up here, so we're going to add in more floating shelves. Pop two there, and two there. We'll pop a lantern up there, and let's do another flower pot up there with another flowering azalea. And look at that! Our kitchen is so much cuter now. But we're not done. We still have a whole house to decorate. Next thing I want to do is get rid of these banners because they are ugly. And I want to replace them with my banners because they are not ugly. I'm also going to pop another couple up here just so you see them over the edge. And that looks adorable. I want to grab some spruce stairs to pop here as little shelves. And then I can pop another little lantern on them. The reason I'm starting to use some of the normal lanterns rather than the soul lanterns is the soul lanterns don't give off as much light. And I'm sick of having creepers and mobs spawn in my house. Now the next thing we need in here are some rugs just to kind of fill out the floor. But it's also a good way to hide some hidden light. So I'm just going to break a few blocks here in front of this door and I'm going to break a few blocks here. I'm going to pop down some torches like so and then I can just pop some carpet on top. This way it gives off some light without noticing it. Now we're also going to do a big rug in this middle spot and the way I'm going to do it is using some cyan carpet, some white carpet and some yellow carpet to try and incorporate the three colours off our flag. So there we go, I've got this pattern here. I think this just adds a bunch of colour, but the other thing we can do is similar to what we did there. So if I just dig up this middle line here, go in and break this, and then do a line of torches, we now have a well lit up downstairs area. That looks super cute. What I'm also going to do is just come over here and break these two and replace the spruce leaves with some flowering azalea leaves, just to add a bit more colour to that side. Well, now that the downstairs is done, let's head upstairs. Because this excuse of a bedroom is pathetic. We have some work to do. Starting with the bed. Now, I want a kind of grand bed thing here in the middle. So, that's what we're going to build. So, this is the general, like, frame that we're going. Okay, it took a lot of like remembering how to do this, but this is what we've got for the bed frame. I just need to continue sort of putting on this roof part and voila, we just pop one bed in here, one bed in there, grab ourselves a couple of lanterns which we can pop on the edges 
and I'll pop a little one there. I'm also going to grab some wool and some end rods and just in the corners here if I stack them with that on top it kind of looks like a floor lamp or at least that's what I tell myself. Pop two plant pots on our side with little azalea bushes and then over here we're going to do another sort of book feature. So we're just going to again in a kind of random pattern just fill this wall a little bit. But it is now night time and I need more bookcases, so I'm going to sleep and then go trade with my villagers. Okay, so this is the shape we're going with. It kind of looks like a Y. Don't ask me why. I'm going to pop a lantern down, a plant pot. I'm going to put some candles in there. And then up here, I'll pop down another lantern. I'm going to pop down some trapdoors on top of this and on top of there. Just to kind of cap off the top, but also stops mob spawning just in case it's like dark up there. Pop a little cactus in there and we can light those candles. Now this little lady has a cute window but when this crafting table is not there I can't use it. So we're gonna make a tiny little like platform area just raised up so you can actually walk up to the window. I just think it's cuter. Now I definitely want to get a banister for this area but I want to use some lecterns so I need to go and make some of those. And now all we do is do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on top of this, we're just going to pop down some trap doors just to kind of create a little railing. And it hides the fact that its light turns a bit more. Up here, we'll pop another floating shelf and another one there. Pop down a lantern on that one and a couple candles on that one. Now, a bedroom is not complete with it somewhere to store some clothes. So we are going to build ourselves a little wardrobe. Just like that, pop down ourselves a lantern and again a few more candles up there and we light those. To finish off the area I'm going to pop down a little rug here just using a mix of different blue wools kind of dotted randomly about. Just like that. Because this is the second floor I can't really do the thing with lights under the carpet but what I can do is go up and add some sort of chains with lights hanging down just to give another bit of light down here. And there we go I've just done them sort of coming down at an angle because it sort of helps again draw the fact that this is a bigger deeper area and brings the eyes down. And with that done, that's kind of the bedroom finished. I think it should be mob proof because the darkest area is like here where the carpet is. And I think it looks super cute. I just need to eventually get some extra armor to pop on there. But this looks adorable. I'm very happy with it. The whole building looks so much cuter. I do want to move these heads eventually, but I want to kind of build a place for them first. So I'm not sure where I'm going to do that yet. But for now, this looks adorable. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Empires SMP. This was a long time coming. I know most of you quite enjoy like a decor episode, an interior decorating episode. I think it just adds a lot to the build already. Like the build was cute. Now it's like done. Finally, it's done. So if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like. If there's anything you think I'm missing that I definitely need to add to the area, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video. And I will see you all next time. Bye.